It's hard losing your best friend. Harder than I ever imagined. I should have been there for her, but instead I ignored all the signs. I could have helped her, but she decided to deal with it on her own. And now I'd like to show you the real reason on why Caitlin died. Are you kidding me? That was the hardest test in the world. You're just way too smart. You don't even know what you're talking about. I do. Anyways, you ready to go to lunch? Do we have to eat the lunchroom? I don't think I can handle Jessica or Brittany one more day. They're just jealous you're way smarter than them. Don't let me get to you, Caitlin. <laughs> Ooh, look who it is, you guys. It's Caitlin. Hey, Caitlin. <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess, you got that jacket at the school's lost and found? No, I'm not worth your time. I can't even stand to look at her. Debra, why do you hang out with her? <laughs> you know, Debra, you could do better than her. Caitlin, <laughs> wait. I replayed that day over and over in my head. It was the start of everything. I should have known. I should have been more careful and sensitive, but instead I just sat there and told her to suck it up. I wish I could have said something different to make her feel like I would have been there for her. Just wait, everything gets worse from here. Well, I know, but that I was like perfect. Like, really, yeah, I got my hair done the other day, and it was just like a nice. Day. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> You're looking at. We said we're sorry. Yeah, whatever. No need for an attitude. Whatever, Jessica. She obviously can't accept an apology. Yeah. Caitlin, Caitlin, hey, I wanted, I wanted to talk to you for a minute. You know, the quarter's almost done. I was looking over your grades, and they're slipping significantly. You know, if there's anything you need to talk about, or any way I can help, let me know. Okay, thanks for letting me know. because you're anorexic. Are you kidding? That's obviously a rumor. Well, whatever, you are pretty skinny. Try to understand from now on. All right. Well, are you okay though? Because you kind of seem upset. Well, my parents just told me that they're getting a divorce. So, 
there anything I can do? Not really. They're already like in the process of finalizing everything. I just don't understand why they didn't come before. That really sucks. Yeah, well, let's just get to class. I'm sorry. Black Cat by Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan Poe is the American master of horror fiction. We all know that, right? We didn't forget everything over the summer, right? <laughs> hey, Caitlin, how come you're not turning in some stupid extra credit? Maybe she finally realized how big of a loser she was and decided to shut her face. <laughs> Listen, I'm sick of you two. You guys are just stupid girls and you have no right to talk to me like that. And by the way, I'm not anorexic. So despite the hardships... Ladies, is there a problem? Looks like someone's a little upset, you guys. Caitlin, come on! Like we said, you could do so much better. Kim, what was that? You should freak out there. Devert, what do you want? And ask you to come out here and criticize me. Well, geez, I just came to see if you're okay. You just said I freaked out in there. Every time I say you just make it worse. You didn't even ignore them. They're not as bad as you think. <sighs> oh, sure. Just go ahead and take their side. I've known you forever, Devert, but lately you haven't been acting normal. Oh, I'm the one that's acting different? Kim, I'm the one freaking out about everything. Seriously, you just need to cool down. Oh, I need to cool down? You don't understand me at all anymore. Oh, I understand perfectly. In my opinion, you just need to get a better hold of life and stop caring what other people think. See? You don't understand anything anymore. I hate my life. I'm done working hard in school, trying to get my parents to get along and to be cool. Even being friends with you is hard. But you know what? I don't even care anymore. I'm done trying to make things in my life work, because I don't. Just get on my life. Kid, wait. Just listen to me. Listen to you? Every word that comes out of your mouth that against me, Deborah. No, I think I'm done with listening. That was the very last day I ever saw my best friend Caitlin Thompson. That night, Caitlin took her own life and committed suicide. The next day at the school was a shock to everyone, but mostly me. People attended her funeral and paid their respects and eventually got on with their lives, but I never did. Caitlin was my best friend and a better one than I ever was to her. I could have recognized the signs or at least been there for her when she was upset, but instead I just told her to ignore it. I made so many mistakes. I would play that day over and over in my head. There were so many things I could have done and so many things I could have changed. I wish I could go back just to fix it. Unfortunately though, life is not reversible and I can't bring my best friend back no matter how hard I wish I could. I miss her so much. Whenever I think of her, I think I'm not her yelling at me or crying, but smiling and laughing. I wish she was still here with me, but most of us are too good to be true. And now she's gone. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's, it's 